Welcome to another weekly edition of the Best Way to Smoke News, sponsored by none other than Cali God. Stop smoking spit. No drip lip. And this is the deli- is brought to you by Serpo Jr. Big J. Uh, Eli Musk takes his marijuana friendly list to the next level as Twitter pitches itself as a home for cannabis ads. What? That's kind of like a big, big plus in the social media world Facts. combined with the cannabis culture. Twitter has officially become the first social media platform that allows cannabis marketing in the U.S. This moves open doors for over $27 billion global in the cannabis industry as brands can now advertise cannabis products on Twitter in the United States. Meanwhile, other popular social media platforms such as Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram, you know, they follow the no uh, cannabis advertising policy. <clears throat> So Twitter, you know, they, they trailblazing right now. And Thanks. it's like Twitter always been a little spot to where you can go on there. You can just talk your shit as long as it's in the shit talking realm. You can stay right there. So now it's like if you stay in the cannabis industry, you in that realm. You can push it. it is. That's a, yeah, that's a plus for sure, for sure. But no. American Cancer Society to Vape Company. Keep your our name out of your mouth. The American Cancer Society has made it clear that it wants nothing to do with Elf Bar after the infamous Chinese vape company suggested last month that they had a partnership with the ASC, which is the American Cancer Society, also says that Elf Bar can keep its money. The American Cancer Society does not partner with or accept funds from tobacco companies and has sent a cease and desist letter to Elf Bar to prevent further public deceit. Timothy Phillips, the chief legal officer for the ACS, said in a statement to State News in an email to ARS, the society said it sent the cease and desist letter to Elf Bar last Friday and has not received a response. You know, on that note and shit, though, man, but look, um, it's a trip, though. You can, it's, it's information out there where you can look at some of these organizations, American Cancer Society and shit, though, where they do take funding from these companies that actually cause cancer and shit like that, though, man. But the information is definitely out there if, you, you know, if y'all want to know more about it. But, man, it's, it's something fishy in this statement, though, right here. Mm. Yep. Moving on. Illegal New York City marijuana shops running a month thanks to lax enforcement laws. <clears throat> lax laws and poultry fines have turned shutting down the Big Apple's illegal pot shops into nothing more than the endless game of whack-a-mole. There is no laws on the books to penalize unlicensed vendors for displaying rolled joints on their cannabis products, according to New York Police Department. Instead, cops have been relying on public nuisance laws, but the process requires tedious court proceedings that could stretch for months before businesses can be ordered to shut down. So it's like, man, amongst the licensed personnel that's out there, you get cracked, I guess, displaying like roll joints or other cannabis products without the proper paperwork. I mean, shit, <laughs> you got a little time Man. before they actually shut your shit down. Man. Not to say that that's a good thing, but it's like if you are within that group, man, one part of me is saying, man, get that money while the money is good. And then the other half of me is just like, shit, just get the fucking paperwork done and you don't got to go through no court proceedings. And then look at it like like California, how when California, you know, was underground and shit, a lot of, a lot of different businesses that's not flourishing now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or back then, it, you know, or now, yeah, it was flourishing back then. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it's it's a trip, man. And and they they trending in that same direction like California to where it's going to be the war against the illegal spots and, and they're going to blame everything on the illegal spots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's going wrong with the legal spots and shit, though, man. So, yeah. Man. That's crazy. Moving on. Biden signs equity-focused executive order. <clears throat> excuse me that touts marijuana clemency action, calling criminalization a failed approach. President Joe Biden issued an executive order on Tuesday that totes the 
administration's effort to address the failed approach on federal marijuana policy. The executive order doesn't specifically build on any administrative cannabis reform. Rather, it's focused on promoting equity within federal agencies and the White House. But the president took the opportunity to connect the issue back to his marijuana action. Biden issued a mass pardon for people with nonviolent federal cannabis possession convictions late last year and directed a a multi-agency review into marijuana scheduling under the Controlled Substance Act, CSA. You know, so, I mean, it's, it's like a, it's like, the on the trail to decriminalization is like putt 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 putt. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's putting along and stuff though with different things sputtering out. You know, it seemed like it's still going in that direction, but it's it's kind of moving slow. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah, moving on. Hawaii Senate committees approve marijuana legalization bill, and House panel passes psychedelics research measure. Shrooms, huh? <laughs> a pair of bills to legalize marijuana were <clears throat> approved in Hawaii Senate committees on Thursday, and the House panel has separately advanced leg- legislation to promote research into psilocybin and MDMA. The Senate Judiciary Committee took up one of the cannabis bills from Senator Joy San Benaventure, a Democrat, passing it in a 3-0 to zero vote just days after taking testimony on a reform during a hearing. Both measures seek to end prohibition to create a system of regulated cannabis commerce for adults 21 and older. But the question remains as to which might ultimately serve as the vehicle for the reform in this session. So Hawaii, you know what I'm saying, they own. Yeah, they pushing along, man. That's the best way to smoke nose by Serpo Jr. Big J, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh.